Welcome everyone to Opera Journey with My Toad. Today, a very important topic, a very important one, proverb. So important that it could change your life. Unfortunately, what has happened in our society, and it happens, I'm sure, throughout other societies, is that we get sidetracked by tradition. It is a tradition to do something in a particular manner, and therefore that overrides all else and critical thinking. You know, I am sure you can call it a tradition in the South with a lot of people who had slaves and thought that's the way things should be. And the, the falsehood of, of slavery overrode the logic of man and of God. We see this thing in many different ways in our society. They call it today a narrative. Both sides, more than most sides, have a narrative and they stick to that narrative no matter what. One day when I was talking to my pastor about the Word of God, and uh, he, he's a Hebrew scholar, so as we were talking, he said to me, what is more powerful than the Word of God? And I don't know. I thought about the Holy Spirit because I don't know anything more powerful than the Word of God. It transforms. But he was talking in a sense in the abstract. You know, and f finally, after a few minutes, he said, tradition. Now, tradition is not more powerful than the Word of God because it is going to come true and things are going to happen. But on the earth, tradition overrides the Word of God in how many ways? Why do we have so many divisions in Christianity? It is tradition. But it should not be where tradition overrides. It should be that the Word of God is the answer. Now, I'm going to take this proverb. It is not just written for kings. It is written for children of God. It is written for truth seekers. Those who want to know what's right and overcome tradition with truth. Here it is in Proverbs 25, 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. But the honor of kings is to search out the matter. Look at how leadership in Congress and everywhere, in every department. Are they searching out a solution? Are they asking God in which direction to go? Or are they just going with the narrative? I don't, you know, there are some blatant things that people who call themselves Christians in politics do that go totally contrary to the Bible. And yet, they'll stick with the narrative that they're Christian. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search it out. They don't want to search it out. And this is not just pointing the finger at them. This is the pointing the finger at us. When you see wrong, based on the word of God, you have a choice. Are you going to allow tradition to overrule the word of God or the word of God to overrule tradition? We want to be right with God. Let's search out what his word says how we should handle something, and then do it. Let's have this mindset, that God is love, and we are to love him above all things. And this is the hard part for me, and I'm trying to approach closer to God for this purpose, that I would love my brother as much as I love myself. If I do that, I got the man is searched out, and I have the answer that God has. You know, there is a horrible thing going on in the Ukraine and in Russia. 
but there are many, many other countries that have had the same thing, maybe and not on the same scale all of a sudden, but for years, people are being put to death for their faith, either Christians or not Christians, Uyghurs in China, all these different things. But everybody turns the other way because it doesn't fit the narrative. Because it doesn't fit our tradition. All right, so let's take a look at ourselves and we'll look at others differently. Let's dig into the Word of God and find truth. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.